practice question. 630 pupils paid 50 pence each on a charity day. The money collected was divided equally between three charities. How much did each of the charities receive? OK, so 630 pupils, 50 pence each. If it had been a pound each, it would be £630. So obviously it's going to be half of that, which is a nice easy one, £315. We got it between three charities, so we just need to divide it out. 3, 1, 0, 315, 5. So each charity will get £105. Question 1. A teacher interviewed 31 pupils to review their progress. Each pupil was allocated 7 minutes. What was the minimum number of half-hour lessons needed to carry out all of the interviews? OK, so we've got 31 pupils, 7 minutes each. We need to multiply that out. So 31 times by 7... 7, 21, 2, 1, 7. So we've got 217 minutes. We, they're in half-hour chunks. So what's the minimum number needed? So we need to convert our 2 hours 17 into hours. 1 hour would be 60. 2 hours would be 120. 3 hours would be 180. So we've got uh, 3 hours. 180, take our 180 off here. It's the nearest we're going to get. 7. 18, 19, 20, 21, 37. Right, so if we weren't short, that was one hour, that was two hours, that was three hours. We've got a half an hour here, but we've got seven minutes left over. So we're still going to need that other half an hour. Okay, so it's half an hour plus the other half an hour, so it's going to be four hours. Okay, remember the question was, what's the number of half hour lessons? So in four hours, we would have eight half hours. So our answer is 8. Question 2. Three 55-seater buses are booked on a school trip. Five classes of 26 pupils, five teachers and eight parents are booked on the trip. How many pupils could go on the trip? OK, got a lot of figures here, but it's not that complicated. Three coaches, 55 seats each. That will give us how many seats in total? Let's work it out. 5, 3, 15, 16, 165 seats. So that's our total number of seats. We've got five classes of 26 pupils. So we need to work that one out. 26 times by 5, 35, which is 10, 13. So we've got 130 pupils plus five teachers. So that's 135. Plus eight parents, so that's one, four, three. So we've got 143 total going with pupils, teachers and parents, 165 seats. So we want to know how many more pupils could go on the trip. So that will be at the 165 seats. Take away the 143 that are going. That leave us with two, two, 22. So 22 is our answer, 22 pupils. Question 3. A school's end of key stage 3 English test results for a class of 25 pupils showed that 22 achieved level 4 and above. What percentage was this? OK, simple percentage calculation. So 22 out of the 25 achieved level 4 or above. So we just take our 100 times by 22 over 25. OK, we can cancel out here, 1, 4, so 4 times 22 is 88, so our answer is 88%. Question 4. 100 pupils correctly completed a sponsored spelling test of 45 words. Each pupil was sponsored at 5 pence per word. How much money did the pupils raise in total? OK, so we've got 100 pupils. They've got a sponsor spelling test of 45 words at 5p a word. OK, so it's just a case of multiplying out. 100 times the 45 will give us 4500. 
five pence of words, so we need to multiply that by five pence. So, zero, zero, five, five, so 25, so 20, 22. Remember to put the decimal point in the correct place, and our answer will be 225 pounds. Question 5. What is 0.02 multiplied by 15? Give your answer as a decimal. Okay, simple multiplication. So 15 multiplied by 0 0.02. 5 2 is at 10. 1 is 2 is 2 plus 1 3. Got to put our decimal point back in. 1, 2. So 1, 2, 0 point there. So our answer is 0.3. Question 6. In a group of pupils, 87.5% passed a GCSE examination. What fraction did not pass? Give your answer in its lowest terms. OK, so if 87.5% passed, then we know that 12.5% didn't pass, which is what we're after. We want that as a fraction. Now, if you don't know it straight off, look at it simply. 12.5, double 12.5, you would get 25. So 25% we know is a quarter. This is half as big. So 12.5% is one eighth. So our answer is one eighth. Question 7. Pupils spent 25 hours in lessons each week. Six hours per week were allocated to English. What percentage of lesson time per week was spent on other subjects? OK, so there's 25 hours of lessons in a week and six per week go on English. So what goes on the others? Six from the 25 will give us 19 hours. So 19 out of 25 hours is spent on other subjects. We want it as a percentage, so we times by the 100. So cancel out 1, 25 into 100 go 4. So 19 times by 4, 9, 4 is 36, 1, 6, 5, 6, 7, 76. So our answer is 76 percent. Question 8. Four-fifths of a group of 165 pupils took part in voluntary work. How many pupils was this? This is just a simple division. 165 pupils, we want to find out what four-fifths are, so we work out one-fifth. Fives into there go three, carry the one, five into there go three, 33. That's one-fifth, remember, we want four-fifths, so we times it by four. Four threes at twelve. 4, 3 is a 12, 13, 132. So our answer is 132 pupils. Question 9. A teacher completed a claim form for the number of miles travelled to and from six ICT training sessions. The journey one way was 17 and a half miles. What was the total number of miles claimed? OK, the thing to remember is the 17 and a half miles is one way. So we've got to times that by 2, because obviously we're going to go there and back. 17 and a half times 2 is 35. They've got six sessions of 35 miles. So 6 times by the 35. 6 times 30, 18, 19, 20, 21. So our answer is 210 miles. Question 10. A pupil scored 73% in a test. In a later test, the pupil scored 18 out of 24. What was the difference between the percentage scores obtained by the pupil in the two tests? OK, well we've got one percentage score, 73%. We need to know what 18 over 24 is as a percentage, though. So 18 over 24, 
times by 100 to get our percentage. Okay, uh, what can we cancel down here to make it easier for ourselves? Uh, 6, 3s are 18, 6, 4s are 24, that's slightly easier. So we've got 100 times by 3, 300 over 4. Okay, so we'd have divide by 2, we get 150 for 2, which is going to give us 75. So 75% is the second score, the later test, 73% in the first, so the difference between the two with the 75, take away the 73, which will give us 2%. So our answer is 2%. Question 11. A minibus travelled 100 miles and used 0 0.25 litres of fuel per mile. Fuel costs 88 pence per litre. What was the cost of the journey? Okay, so we've got a 100 mile journey. 0.25 litres per mile is what it uses and it's 88 pence per litre. Okay, so 100 miles 0.25 litres per mile, so 100 times by 20, 0.25, or 0.25 times 100, we move our decimal point, so that will give us 25 litres it's used. It's 88 pence per litre, so the cost will be, times by 88 pence, okay, 8 fives, 40, 8 is 16, so 20, okay, 8 fives are 40, 16, so we get 9, 20. So we have 2, 2, 0, 0. Put our decimal point back in. 1, 2. There's our answer. Our answer is 22 pounds. Question 12. A test takes 1 hour 30 minutes. A pupil is allowed 10% extra time. The test starts at 13.30. At what time must the pupil finish the test? Give your answer using the 24-hour clock. OK, so it starts at 13.30. The test is 1 hour 30. We've got to add on 10% extra because that's what they're allowed. OK, 1 hour 30, 60 minutes, 70, 80, 90 minutes. We've got 90 minutes, add on 10%, 10% 90 is obviously 9. So 99 minutes is how long they're allowed. Convert that back in. All right, we've only added on 9 minutes. So in fact, we could just say 1 hour, 39 minutes. We need to now add that onto our 1330. So if we add on the 1 hour, we'd be on 1430. Add on another half an hour will bring us up to 1500, and add on the nine minutes will be 1509. So the time they will finish the test is 1509. That's our answer.